have been dying to play this game ever since I talked about Diddy Kong and Top 10 Sidekicks. And Diddy was the first one on the list, so really, I've been waiting for as long as I possibly could be. Hey, w w watch this, I want to show you a trick. If you've played this game before, listen to this music for a second. You now want to play Diddy Kong Racing really, really bad. See, it's a good trick, I came up with it myself. And there's good reason why you should feel like playing it again right now, because it was a fantastic game. There were three defining features of Diddy Kong Racing that made it so special. For one thing, this was the kart racer that was known for going beyond karts. It's got planes! It's got hovercraft- well, I don't think people really cared that much about the hovercrafts, but still, it's got planes! Number B, it featured items that could be upgraded the more you collected them, making it a bit more strategic than your average kart racer. And thirdly, it's the first kart racer to have an adventure mode, like with a story and everything. Aside from the planes, this was the coolest thing about Diddy Kong Racing. You had to do stuff like find hidden keys on the courses or race bosses to unlock stuff like tracks, multiplayer modes, and characters. Plus, it had Taj the Genie Elephant. Hello, friend. Select your vehicle. I'll come down. This is called stereotyping, kids. This kind of thing is generally frowned upon in modern society. Now, lots of people called this a Mario Kart 64 clone when this first came out, and it sparked a lot of debate about which game was better. So, let's look at the facts. Mario Kart gave you four cups to take on in single player. Diddy Kong Racing had a full adventure mode. Diddy Kong Racing had upgradable weapons, but only five types. Mario Kart had a wider variety with 14 different items. Mario Kart's tracks were crazy with hairpin turns and different ways to screw your friends over. Diddy Kong Racing's tracks were basically all just circles. Weighing in those factors, I've gotta say, if I had to pick the game that offered the most variety and fun, I'd have to go with Mario Kart 64. Still, there's simply no substitute for Diddy Kong Racing. Mario Kart, like I said, is the better game, but there's nothing quite like a game with cars, hovercrafts, planes, and adventure mode. It's just one of those cases where you can't afford to be on one side of the fence or the other. Both games are fantastic, but let's face it, only one game has a genie elephant.